Okay, we're going to take a super quick look at the new Aurora 2018 HDR software from MacFun. They were kind enough to give me a copy to review and check it out for you guys. So let's go ahead. I've got three raw photos that I took in Colmar, France. So I'm just going to drop these right in and start the process. So I'm going to make this a little wider here and I've got alignment set. Let's check out color denoise. I'm going to turn that on, chromatic aberration. And let's go ahead and create HDR. All right, here's our image loaded into Aurora HDR, and it's done a nice job already in blending this together. So let's check out, there's our middle exposure, and there's the blend right there. It looks pretty awesome. So some of the features right here, you can see they've streamlined everything. You kind of have some of the same stuff at the top, like your before and after, and you've got crop, and here's your preset tab, and the categories, you can go find more presets right there. So. There we go. So I'm going to close this down and let's get to it and start playing with it. So I'm going to drop down the highlights on this and maybe HDR enhance. I'll boost that up a little bit and shadows. I'll boost a little bit as well. And maybe the blacks boost that too. So now we can go down to color, give it a little bit more color. Looks nice right there. Color contrast maybe about there looks nice gives it that nice rich look and hdr structure just a tiny bit right there and microstructure this is going to really affect details like in this wall here you can actually see there we got a lot of detail there it's getting kind of crispy around here so i'm going to dial it back just a bit and oh that was the wrong one let's go right about there that looks awesome. Okay, denoise, give that a little boost. And image radiance, this sort of gives it that mysterious look. So I'm gonna give it a little boost there. And if it's a little too dark, you can actually brighten it up. Let's go right there. And I'm gonna warm up the whole thing where that image radiance is. So I'm just warming up the image radiance. Cool feature. You can see before and after with these little eyeballs here, you can turn on and off. There's before and there's after, and that's just on the image radiance. And the polarizing filter, let's give it a shot. Maybe right about there. HDR details boost, and maybe I'll just go with the medium details. And that's sort of affecting that wall again, and sort of that stucco look, which I like, these old towns. So now I'm gonna go maybe add a tiny bit of glow and a bit of brightness, maybe a bit of warmth. I'm just trying to warm up the whole image right here, even though it was a rainy day and overcast, but the warmth of the lights was really nice. So now with the tone curves, I'm gonna drop down the mid-tones, maybe boost up that a little bit, uh, maybe right about there looks good. And the saturation, ah, it's looking pretty good, but let's go to luminance and I'm gonna boost up the orange just to give it a bit more of a glow right in there. There we go, so it looks a little more lively. And I'm gonna to go to the hue, drop the blue just a bit, and that looks nice. So let's go down to the vignette, give this a bit of a vignette, and maybe feather it out quite a bit, and boost up the inner brightness. Maybe bring down the vignette a little bit more. And that looks really awesome, that was just super quick. And let's check out before and after on that. There's before and there's after. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video of Aurora 2018 HDR software. You can click down below to pre-order. Uh, it's released September 28th and that's for Mac and PC. So that's pretty exciting. All right, so make sure you check presetpro.com. We're releasing a new preset pack and that's going to be on the 28th as well. All right, hope you guys enjoyed the video.